everyone. My name is Yagini, daughter of Balakrishnan. I'm from Sekolah Kebangsaan Perempuan Teritual Methodist Taiping Perak. I'm a Standard 6 student. As you can see me in this uniform, I'm a school prefect since I was Standard 4 till now. Reading has become almost everyone's hobby as it provides many benefits, satisfaction, enjoyment, and interest to the readers. Precise, my hobby is also reading books and novels. I love reading, not only love, but I think reading as a part of my life that inspired me in so many ways. The book that I'm going to share today is Peter Pan in Scarlet. First of all, how did this book came about? First, it was a play. Then, it was a book. During the early years of the 20th century, James Matthew Barry made a remarkable gift to his favorite charity. He gave all away his rights in Peter Pan to Great Ormond Street Hospital. In 2004, Great Ormond Street Hospital decided to sanction for the very first time to secure the book of Peter Pan and Wendy. With the plot outline and a sample chapter, Darren McCurian won that competition. Peter Pan in Scarlet is the book. This book concludes of 25 chapters and 270 pages. It's a non-fictional story. This book illustrated by David White. This book published by Oxford University Press. Let me share the synopsis of this story. After the World War I, the former Lost Boys and Wendy begin to find that Marilyn has leaking in the real world through their dreams. So, they decided to, using their children's clothes, transform back into children and went to Neverland to find what is going on. And they had a lot of adventures with Peter Pan as well. Parents and child will enjoy it with equal enthusiasm, but if you haven't it, Read the pen, why not you read that first? I like this story because the moral value in this story inspired me a lot, which is don't be afraid to try new things. This moral story makes me more confident and brave. Thank you for lending your ears for my story. Thank you.